high position for it. Now pop the bone, just play your game and I'll get into your action. Did you coach it before? No. Nice technique. So how do you feel about your game? Um, Inconsistent. Can you explain how you play the game? Like okay. I said, now we go out to the workshop then. Now, I'm going to put the ball just outside of, out of bulk. So it's on the back of the bulk line. And I'm going to set you up. Here. But the way you play, yeah. I'm going to explain something to you. There's three sections that I look at in snooker. Mm. Aiming, cue action and pressure. Right? Aiming is massive. At the moment, you're not aiming. You're no. not using a lot of aiming. That's why I'm thinking you could miss a ball off the black easy or, or whatever. Yeah. I'll explain that to you in a minute. Okay. Q action, I like your Q action. Yeah. You're a driver. You're a driver and I'll explain that there's two ways of playing snooker when you're on AD yeah. or you're playing your mate or you're playing that. Things can come in. Mm. Now how I, how I handle pressure is what I give you. When a baby cries, you give a baby a dummy to suck on which stops the baby crying. Yeah. Right. Now, when a snooker player is under pressure, yeah. I give a snooker player a dummy, or even Ronnie O'Sullivan had dummies. Yeah. So if Ronnie can have dummies, you can have a dummy. Okay. Right, now what a dummy is, a dummy is something that A, enhances your game, stops a bad habit coming in, mm. and B, it, while you're thinking of that, you're not thinking of anything else, and it keeps you in the zone. What you were talking about, staying in the... Yeah. You said to me earlier, you said, uh, 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 after I've got up and he said that pink was for 100, yeah. You've got up and you've lost your concentration. Mm. You've yeah. gone out the zone. Yeah. Right. Now, what the dummies are, they're to keep you in the zone. Yeah? Now, what I'm going to explain to you is how you play and some good habits. Okay. Now, say I want you to play this ball up over the spots, yeah? Okay. So you're going to walk in, you're going to walk in, walk in on the shot, yeah? Walk in on the shot, your right foot's gone on the line. Right. Your right foot's gone on the line. You've put your right foot on the line. You put from your left leg out, you're roughly 90 degree stance, which is lovely. Yeah. Minimum shoulder width apart, you've got a lovely wide stance. Happy with that, yeah, right? Yeah. Go down on the shot. Now you're down on the shot, you've got one, two, three, four points of contact. Okay. That contact point is very, very important. Yeah. That's holding your cue online. Okay. Right? Now I love that. The way you are at the moment, yeah. that's a perfect stance. Can't move you off of it. Oh. You've put your now what that, that CCP, what we call the CCP is your chest contact point. Okay. That is holding the cue online. Okay. Alright? Now at the moment, you have got a very, very long bridge. Yeah, this is a fault that a lot of people have picked up. Alright, now what I'm gonna do, now do you always like your arm bent like want your bridge deck? That's perfect. And that's within a centimetre, most pros would be. Now, do you want to straighten your arm or bend it or anything? Are you happy like that? How do you mean? If I bend it, then... If you bend it, you see you had your arm bent, a lot more better than that. Now, yeah. it's pretty, that's nice. I think that's lovely. Okay. That's, now, if I hold you there, that's perfect. Now you're vertical. Okay. Right? You've got enough room there, right? Mm. That is vertical. That's perfect. Now, when you hit the white ball, when you actually come in contact with the white ball, this wants to be vertical. Okay. Yeah? This is long. Yeah. That would be long. And this would be inside. Yeah. Yeah? Now, you're vertical at the moment, which is perfect. With you being with your bridge there, yeah? Okay. Now, when you said to me you need a shorter cure or a longer cure or whatever, 
you won't need you won't need one if no. we set you up right. Okay. Right. Now I'm gonna walk in again, put your right foot. Now that line that goes all the way through the table comes all the way through the floor. Yeah? See this is this is I've heard this said before. I mean people say you walk with your nose on the line. No, then sure, surely then that's a contradiction because if your foot's on the line, your right foot's over there. So ninety percent of the of the aim is taken on approach. Yeah. Right. Now what you're doing, you're putting your CCP online. Okay. Now, how you put your CCP on is to be there. Like that, that's right. right? Yeah. Now, I don't care what you put on the line. It can be your toes, could be your heel, could be whatever suits you. Everyone's different. Okay. Right? But what you put on line is the same every time. So that's how we're going to get consistent. Yeah. yeah? So when you walk in and put your foot on the line, then I want you to put your tip. Now, I'm going to talk about aiming now. Because what you're doing, let me just show you. What you're doing, you're walking in. And as you're getting down, you're pulling your cue to your chest. Yeah, this is the problem. That's why when I point play up and down spots, it always comes back slightly to the right. Okay. So I, I think I'm cueing. Touch a bit of right. Right. Now what I want you to do, right, this is this is aiming now. We'll go mm. on about cueing in a minute. This is aiming. What I would like you to do, I can't stand with a straight right leg because I'm okay. back, all right? I want you to walk in, put your foot on the line, throw your left leg out like you do. Mm. I want the tip to go to the white ball, and then I want you to lower down and create your chest contact point before you move the cue. Okay. That's a new one. All right. Now this is aiming. Okay. So you walk in, your foot goes on the line, tip to the ball. Ah, uh, see how you wanted to put it back. That's lovely. That's what. That's what I'm. I'm going to cure that. You will not want to do that in 10, 15 minutes. Time. You will not want to do it. You won't want to do it. So walk in, put your foot on the line. Tip to the ball, aim in, chest to cue. Yeah? Yeah. Right. Now, when you come from here, yeah. this view you have here, yeah. now go down on your chest. Yeah. Look at the view, it's totally different. You see it? Yeah. Now, that is your 90% of the aim. I'd like your bridge up here, by the way. So, we'll get your bridge to there. Now, get up again from there, get up from there. Uh, right, now we're there. You've put, your tip to the, you've put your tip to the white ball. Okay. Right? Have it how you want it, your arm, I don't care. You've gone from there now. This is your aim in. Now, chest to cue. Very good. All right? Now, you do your cut the feathers, whatever you want to do. All right? Straight as a die, look. Hmm. No side on that, was it? No. Normally, I go over that way. Right. Now, that's because... It reminds me of the way Mark Williams... When he gets down the shot. John Higgins does it really like that. Yeah. Really puts it. No, never, it's, it's an aspect of the game I've never.